Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just made this one for fun to see how small I can make it. It starts with the passion. You need to make sure that this is something that you really care about, because if you don't care about it, nobody else will. The drive to go, if I fail initially, I'm going to keep trying. I'm Bob Martin, I'm the technical staff engineer, comma, wizard of make at Microchip. My core goal at Microchip is, is to help customers of ours that have started a design in the makerspace and move that in production. The people that have these well thought out ideas, there's just something there that, you know, a little flag goes up in my mind. And they've got a working prototype and now it's, how do I make this smaller, faster, cheaper? That's where I get involved and we sit down and sketch out stuff. So I got a few things here, some, oh, cut. My name's Kevin Bates, I created the Artiboy. Introducing Artiboy, a game system the size of a credit card. It's pre-installed with your favorite classic game and has an online library of over 20 more that you can download for free. It's an open source game system that fits in your wallet. You can uh, learn to create your own games or download games other people have made online. Still very much a beginner uh, when I started the process. I, everything I was doing was, was very much the first time that I had, had tried something like that. All right, so I've loaded uh, some software up on the uh, Arduino. In about 2007, 2008, the Arduino was starting to gain popularity and I was absolutely fascinated that there was this hardware that you could just plug into your USB, um, write some simple C code and just press one button and all of a sudden you're able to blink LEDs and move motors. Hey, Merry Christmas everybody. I've got here this little project that I've been working on and I thought that I'd share it with you here on the holidays. Just a little uh, Christmas present for everybody. This tool made it accessible and it made it very easy and because it was open source there was a whole community, millions of people who were using it. And then I have the original Artiboy here. And this is the one that went viral, actually. But this is the one that I showed on YouTube. It was very popular on Reddit and kind of went all over the internet. And it demonstrates how thin the electronics could be. This is Bob Martin, your wizard to make for Microchip, and welcome to Bay Area 2019. What I was doing at that time for Maker Faire was inviting people like Kevin to just have a table within our booth. And then I remember kids swarming. Well, not only kids, but everybody swarming around his table. The Artiboy is based off Arduino. It uses the 32U4, which is the same that's in the Leonardo or the Micro. This is the top layer here. And so the footprint that we've got is actually the QFN package. He had just, I believe, the, released uh, the first one based on one of our parts. He understood the architecture very well, so we could get into some of the nitty gritties. And you know, we're continuing on now and helping up-level his design. Arduino's now got a lot more boards in the nano form factor. It, there's just so much momentum behind this footprint now. And the fact that you just, like you're saying, double, double side tape or glue it or whatever, just go and pop it down because it's optimized for size you know, and cost already. It's if you don't have the barrier. experience from somebody who's gone before you, you're dooming yourself to repeat their mistakes. It's just really valuable to have somebody who is in the industry, who has the experience of knowing kind of where the pitfalls are, um, kind of gotcha situations. My mission now is, is giving back this knowledge you don't get in textbooks. Are those part selections going to get you into supply chain problems in the future? Is this circuit board easy to manufacture? How do I make this smaller, faster, cheaper? And that's what really gave me a leg up. Even in the maker community, just reaching out to other people on social media and stuff like that, I would say that was as, as instrumental as the kind of formalized approach that I had. I think many people feel it's too difficult, feel that there is that kind of wall in front of them. And I mean, I know I faced it myself. I felt like there was a wall in front of me. If you're discouraged easily, engineering may not be what you want to do. The first thing to identify when you're trying to create something new in the world is that you yourself like it because without that kind of emotional attachment to what you're trying to do, it's very easy to lose interest along the way. So there you go. 
anyways if you got any questions uh, be sure to let me know Merry Christmas everybody happy new year coming up all right take care I think development tools that have low barriers to entry I think are very critical the platform like the Circuit Maker, I think, is great because it gives people the ability to then take an open source design. You get to use these very advanced features, it's like the push and pull routing. Once you're able to grow as an organization, to then be able to transition into a more professional platform and to have the more advanced feature set is really awesome. You've got a complete flow so you don't have to relearn CAD packages. The old craftsmen, because of the limited tool sets, had to find the simple solutions. Being an engineer to me is taking a problem that was solved and then looking to see if the new technology will make that better. Whether you're a carpenter in the 1600s or a, an electrical engineer or a mechanical engineer in the millennium now, that pride of workmanship to reflect your expression in a physical manifestation, it's one and the same. Thank you for watching Altium Stories. If you enjoyed what you've seen, please give us a like and share the video, and don't forget to subscribe. We'd love to hear what you think, so please leave a comment in the section below.